Chile from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia This video is about the country in South America. Republic of Chile, officially known as the Republic of Chile, Republica de Chile, help info, about this sound. A South American country located in the west of Argentina, between the Andes and the Pacific Ocean, stretching from north to south for 4,300 kilometers, Peru to the north, Bolivia to the northeast, and Argentina to the east. Its capital city is Santiago and approximately 17 million people live in the country according to the estimates of 2012. Its name comes from the word Chile which means, the end of the world, in Aymara language. Chile is administratively divided into 15 regions. 14 of these are Tarapaca, Antofagasta, Atacama, Coquimbo, Valparaiso, O'Higgins, Mall, Bio Bio, Araucania, Los Lagos, Ison, Magallanes Y. La Antarctica Chilena, Los Rios and Arica y Perinacota. For the region Metropolitana de Santiago region, which includes the capital city and its surroundings, the letters ERM is used instead of numbers. Etymology The origin of the word Chile, the Spanish name for the country, has not been proven uniquely and conclusively. The most common explanation is that the word is derived from the Aymara language. In this language, the word Chile means, the land where the world ends. This situation is supported by the first Spanish phenomenon that came to Chile from Aymara settlements. From the beginning of the colonization of South America, the Spaniards called the lands south of the Atacama Desert as Chile. Another and less common theory points to the Inca language Quechua as the origin of the name. The maximum width of the Inca kingdom reaches present-day Santiago. The Incas called the lands south of Rio Aconcagua as Chile, meaning snow, based on the relatively cold climate and snow-covered Andes. Geography Chile with an area of 756,945 square kilometers, although South America is a country that stretches from the north-south direction to Antarctica, its average width is only 180 kilometers. The narrowest part of the country, excluding the Chilean territory in Antarctica, is 90 kilometers, while the widest part is 240 kilometers long. Compared to Europe, a distance is covered from Denmark to the Sahara Desert. Although the east-west distance is very small, there is a lot of altitude difference between these two ends. The country also displays very different climates, vegetation and geographical forms from north to south. That's why Chile is referred to as the land of contrasts in many sources. Indeed, it deserves this name, as it reminds the desert in the north, the Sahara of Africa, the Norwegian canals in the south, Asorno in Los Lagos and its surroundings, the Swiss Alps, the Mediterranean in the middle regions, and also the glaciers in Patagonia. Mountains The Chilean mountains form the highest mountain chain on Earth. It has many peaks above 6,000 meters. One of these, Ojos del Salado, Chile's highest mountain, 6,880 meters, is also the world's tallest volcano. The most famous of them are listed below. Nevado Ojos del Salado, 6.880 meters, 3. Region, Atacama Region, Cerro Tupungato, 6.800 meters, Metropolitan Area, Vulcan Lulalaco, 6.739 meters, 2. Region, Antofagasta Region, Vulcan Perinacota, 6.342 meters, District I, Tarapaca Area, Vulcan Laconcaber, 5,916 meters, 2. Region, Antofagasta Region, Descabezado Grande, 3.830 meters, 7. Territory, Mall District, Torres del Paine, 2.800 meters, 12. Region, Magallanes y de la Antarctica Chilena District, Vulcan Villarica, 2.840 meters, 8. Region, Araucania Region, Vulcan Asorno, 2.652 meters, Zone X, Los Lagos area, Vulcan Cerro Hudson, 1.905 meters, 11. Region, Asayan area. Rivers and lakes due to the special geographical structure of the country, it does not have long rivers. The longest river, Rio Loa, is 443 kilometers long. Extreme drought in the Atacama Desert in the north of the country prevents the formation of large water bodies. Few rivers in the north feed on snow in the Andes. Increasing precipitation as they descend south brings more water volume to rivers in these regions. Rivers play an important role in Chile's economy, especially in providing energy. However, it offers opportunities in adventure tourism such as salmon fishing and rafting. Major rivers from north to south are listed below. 
Rio Lauca, 160 km, District I, Tarapaca, Rio Luda, 167 km, District I, Tarapaca, Rio Loa, 443 km, 2. Region, Antofagasta, Rio Copiapo, 162 km, 3. Region, Atacama, Rio Elqui, 170 km, IV. Territory, Coquimbo, Rio Choapa, 160 km, IV. Territory, Coquimbo, Rio Aconcagua, 142 km, District V, Valparaiso, Rio Maipo, 250 km, Metropolitan, V Region, Metropolitan, Valparaiso, Rio Mapacho, 120 km, Metropolitan, Metropolitana, Rio Cachapol, 172 km, V. Territory, O'Higgins, Rio Mall, 240 km, 7. District, Mall, Rio Biobio, 380 km, 8. Region, Biobio, Rio Imperial, 52 km, X. Region, Araucania among its lakes, the northern salt lakes can be counted, the most famous of which we can say is Salar de Atacama. However, in the far north is Lago Chungara, one of the world's highest lakes. The area of the lake is 21.5 square kilometers and it is located at an altitude of 4.500 meters. Lago Chungara and Volcano Parinacota a group of large and beautiful lakes start from the south of Temeca City to Puerto Montt. These are respectively. Lago Calico, 56 square kilometers, X. Region, Araucania, Lago Caberga, 51 square kilometers, X. Region, Araucania, Lago Villarica, 176 square kilometers, X. Region, Araucania, Lago Calafquin, 120 square kilometers, X. Zone, Araucania, Un Zone X, Los Lagos, Lago Panguapuli, 116 square kilometers, District X, Los Lagos, Lago Renihu, 77 square kilometers, Zone X, Los Lagos, Lago Ranco, 401 square kilometers, Zone X, Los Lagos, Lago Puyehue, 156 square kilometers, District X, Los Lagos, Lago Rupanco, 223 square kilometers, Zone X, Los Lagos, Lago Lanquihue, 860 square kilometers, District X, Los Lagos, also in the south is Chile's largest lake, Lago General Carrera, with an area of 970 square kilometers, which forms the western flank of Lago Buenos Aires in Argentina. Demography The most common place with the population is the capital Santiago and its surroundings. Almost half of the total population live in this area. 6.5 million people live in the city alone, which corresponds to one-third of the country. The plains between the Andes, where agriculture can be done in the north and south, are also densely populated places. 1.5 million people live in the port city of Valparaiso, 100 kilometers west of Santiago. As you go to the northern and southern extremities of the country, the density of settlement becomes sparse due to unfavorable living conditions. Because the northern desert and the cold, windy climate of the south make it difficult to live here. Population. Chile Polo National Team Europeans and their descendants make up 95% of Chile's population. 6, 7, 8, 9, usually Basques. Especially in the 19th century, British, Irish and German immigrants came from Europe. Later, it received immigrants from Croatia, Palestine and Italy. Locals represent only 3.2% of the population. According to Chilean statistics, there are around 50,000 0.30%. Muslims in Chile. In Chile where there are many Islamic organizations, the Chilean Muslim community and the Es Salaam Masjid are located in the city of Santiago, the Bilal Mosque in the city of Aquiqua, the Muhammad Cultural Center in the city of V. Coquimbo. In 1856, there was an Arab migration from the Ottoman Empire lands, Syria, Palestine and Lebanon, to Chile. Among them, the Muslims, most of these Arabs were Orthodox Christians, formed the Union of Muslim Society. In 1907, the number of Muslims in the country increased to 1498, and this figure rose to the highest rate in the history of the country with 0.04%. 10. In 1988, they built the first mosque in Santiago under the leadership of Sheikh Tefik Rumi. The mosque was completed in 1989. Until the end of 1980, few local Chileans had converted to Islam. After the completion of this mosque, the number of people who converted to Islam increased. Vegetation and animals plants. 
Chile Araucaria Chile has a very wide and varied vegetation since it is a long country stretching from north to south. Practically nothing grows in the Atacama Desert. Here, in addition to cactus varieties, plants can be found towards the Andes and along the coast. However, after some years of rainfall, the desert is decorated with millions of flowers for a few days. The south of the desert is the Step and Step, and the stone-hard Ureta, Azarela Ureta, also called the Andean Pillow, grows in the Andes. A bush type called Boldo, Pumis Boldus, prevails in the dry regions. There are foggy forests in the coastal mountain ranges and the Andes. The vineyards are in the Rio Elqui River region. Outside the river valley there are only thorny shrubs and cacti. In the central part of the country, a Jubaya-type palm tree and Chilean Araucaria can be found frequently. Araucaria is a sacred tree for the Mapuche, because they make use of its large seeds in their burials. Also, areas covered with eucalyptus trees can be seen in central Chile. There are large forests that fall under the category of rainforests in southern Chile. In these forests, trees such as cypress, pine and hybrids are found together. In addition, trees such as Antarctic false beech Antarctica, and poplar are also spread over vast areas. Large grassy steppes and tundra are dominant in the Patagonia region. Since very large areas are covered with glaciers in the Magellan and Asayan regions, there is not much vegetation here. Animals. Llamas. Guanacos llamas, guanacos, alpacas and vicuñas of the camelid family live in the steppe-covered areas in a very common way. Indigenous deer and condors living in the Andes are depicted on almost all of the country's coats of arms. While cougars and rodents live in the mountainous steppes, the forests provide habitat for creatures such as foxes, codecodes, deer and colibri. Humboldt penguin, Magellanian penguin, sea lion, pelican are animals found in the cold waters of northern Chile and in the Icelands of southern Chile. Flamingos commonly inhabit the Andean condor and large salt lakes in nearly all Andean parts of Chile. In the south, the Nandu, the Magellan fox, and the owl in the lands of fire are among the local creatures. History Main Article, Chilean History Pre-Columbian and Colonial Period. 1541 when Santiago was founded by Pedro de Valdivia. It is known that around 13,000 BC, people lived within the borders of today's country. Northern Chile belonged to the Inca Kingdom shortly before it was conquered by the Spanish. Ferdinand Magellan, who sailed to circumnavigate the world in 1520, discovered the southern tip of the country while crossing the Strait of Magellan, which is named after him. Later, the first Europeans to reach Chile were Diego de Almagro and his people who came from Peru in 1535 to search for gold. However, these individuals were repulsed by local population groups. The first settlement made by Europeans in the full sense was the establishment of Pedro de Valdivia in 1541 de Santiago in 1541. From 1542 Chile became a part of the Spanish Peruvian governorate. In Chile, the Spaniards found very little gold and silver, and because of the country's remote location, Chile was a colony that was less important to the Spanish kingdom. In addition, the Atacama Desert was an obstacle to direct access to Peru, and the country became an important supply area by the Spaniards much later, with the introduction of other agricultural products and minerals. The War of Independence and the Formation of the Republic Bernardo O'Higgins' demands for independence first began in 1808, when Spain was ruled by Napoleon's brother Joseph. A junta that came to power on September 18, 1810 declared autonomy under the Kingdom of Spain. After the Spanish War of Independence against Napoleon, he attempted to conquer Chile again with unlimited power. However, the Spaniards were defeated by the Chilean and Argentine troops in the battle at Chacabuco. After the Battle of Maipú on April 5, 1818, the Spanish resistance came to an end. O'Higgins became the first Chilean state administrator when José de San Martín, the commander at the head of the battles, abdicated the presidency for Bernardo O'Higgins. O'Higgins was captured in 1823 and forced into exile to Peru. In the following years, various statesmen took over. Diego Portales Palazuelos, who came to power in 1830, ruled the country as a dictator and had a very strict constitution prepared in 1833. With this central constitution, Chile stabilized for a long time between 1833 to 1891. Over time, the country became the most economically powerful region in South America. 
Chile consolidated its power with many wars it waged, especially when it won the Peruvian-Bolivian Confederation War of 1836 to 1839. Chile declared war on Spain in 1865, when Spain tried to recapture the former colonies of Peru. Naval battles took place in front of the Paputo and Chilo Islands. He joined Chile against a common enemy in Peru. Although the war practically ended in 1866, problems with Spain were resolved by treaties of 1871 and 1883. Border disputes in the 19th century, Europeans from outside Spain also immigrated to Chile. Today, the effects and traces of these people are seen in the southern regions of the country. Chile conquered the Atacama Desert region in the war with Peru and Bolivia in the War of Saltpeter, also known as the Pacific War, between 1879 and 1883. Thus, Bolivia lost its Pacific Ocean shores. Later, very rich copper deposits were found in these areas. Chuquicamata, the world's largest copper mine, is within this region. In 1891, the Chilean Navy revolted against President José Manuel Balmaceda. This is why a civil war broke out. 6,000 people died in this war. Balmaceda committed suicide in September 1891 after losing the battle. In 1893, this time, border problems began to occur with Argentina. In 1902, King of England 7. Edward mediated this problem, splitting Patagonia and the land of fire between the two countries. In this way, Chile has a share of 54,000 square kilometers and Argentina 40,000 square kilometers. Recent history in Allende. Walking for Allende. Dot, dot, dot. Salvador Allende in 1969, the left forces in the country formed an electoral union called the Unidad Popular UP. This union consisted of parties such as the Communist and Socialist parties, as well as a few more leftist, humanist small parties. The UP placed itself on a socialist line, promising the nationalization of industry and the expropriation of the lands of large landowners. This union nominated Salvador Allende for president in 1970. In the 1970 elections, the electoral union UP came out as the strongest, with 37% of the votes, and Allende was elected to the state presidency. His conservative rival Jorge Alessandri got 35.3% of the vote and Christian Democrat Radomiro Tomic 28.1%. Allende's minority government started to nationalize the major branches of the economy one after another, banking, agriculture, copper mines, communications. Thus, growing conflicts with the opposition occurred. Also, in the USA, there was discomfort over Allende's election victory. Because the Popular Front in Chile with Marxist influences was in power as the second American state after Cuba. This concern was triggered by US President Eisenhower's domino theory in 1954. According to this theory, after Chile, other South American countries would fall under communism one by one, just as the overthrow of the first of the dominoes lined up side by side and the others were toppled in a chain. In 1973 UP managed to increase the number of votes even more. Pinochet period following the developments listed above, there was a military coup against the government on September 11, 1973. Hundreds of Allende supporters have been killed these days, and thousands have been arrested. All state units were occupied by military units. General Augusto Pinochet assumed all powers as the leader of the junta. Pinochet was also the highest-ranking official in the Navy, Air Force and Police Force. Military units set up concentration camps in the most secluded desert areas of northern Chile and in sparse parts of the settlement of Patagonia. Many junta opponents were tortured to death or thrown into the sea from planes. Thousands of Chileans have fled abroad or been exiled for human rights violations. With Pinochet's seizure of power, the United States again began to support the country heavily in economic terms. The new government took back the previous nationalizations, with the exception of the important copper mine Chuquicamata. While pursuing a neoliberal economic policy, he also took back all trade union rights. But with growth, the public economy stabilized more than is usual in South America. In addition to economic stability, human rights violations continued. Because of Tension Beagle Channel in December 1978, tensions arose between Argentina and Chile that could lead to war. The tension was caused by islands in the Beagle Channel, such as Lennox, Picton, and Nueva, with no life on them. 
because it was estimated that there were very high oil reserves here. While this tension was resolved amicably as a result of the border agreement in 1985 with the intervention of the Vatican, these three islands were left to Chile. There are still minor border disputes with this country that have not been completely resolved today. Democracy again in the referendum held in 1988, it was concluded that Pinochet would not rule the country any longer with 55% of the votes. In 1989, the first elections were held after 15 years of dictatorship regime. Christian Democrat Patricio Aylwin was elected president. Aylwin began to reconcile the state and the people in order to live together, along with modest economic reforms. For the first time in 1993, some officers went to court for human rights violations. Many exiles returned to the country. Between 1994-2000, Christian Democrat Eduardo Fry Ruiz Tagle ruled the country. Pinochet was arrested in the UK in 1998 and was subsequently banned from going out. He was released in 2000 due to health problems. In 2000, socialist Ricardo Lagos was elected president. In 2006, Michelle Bachelet, the first woman president in the country's history, came to this office. On the 11th of March 2018, Sebastián Piñera became president of Chile for the second time. He completed his first mandate as Chilean Prime Minister from the 11th of March 2011 to the 11th of March 2014. Economy. The world's largest copper mine Chuquicamata unlike Salvador Allende's socialist public economy, Pinochet turned to the neoliberal market economy. Most of the public institutions were privatized both under Pinochet and in later administrations. However, copper production, which was nationalized in Allende's time and was kept under the military control of Pinochet, is still in the hands of the state today. After Pinochet, the middle left governments tried to establish social rights, but Chile is still one of the countries where social inequality is very high today. The service sector is one of the biggest sectors of the country with 57%. This is followed by industry with 34% and agriculture with 9%. Chile is one of the largest raw material producers in Latin America. It has the world's largest copper reserves, which corresponds to 40% of the world's production. Various precious metals and Chilean saltpeter made the country rich during the 19th century. Today, it is worried that the world's largest gold mine, planned with the Pascua Lama project, will bring enormous environmental problems with it. In addition to these, fishing and agriculture also play an important role in the country's economy. 7% of the country's area is used as agricultural land. These areas are mostly concentrated in the central parts of the country. In the northern desert, agriculture is done only in oases. Animal husbandry is done mainly in central Chile and northern parts of southern Chile. Winery also makes important contributions to the country's economy. Notable artists see also, Chilean culture. Pablo Neruda in modern Chilean culture, many important personalities have left their mark. Some of these are those. Isabel Allende, b. 1942, the most famous contemporary Chilean writer. He has novels that have been published worldwide, such as The House of the Spirits, also filmed, Fortuna's Daughters, The Infinite Plan. He is also the nephew of former President Salvador Allende. Roberto Bolano, 1953-2003, surrealist poetry publisher. He went into exile after the military coup in 1973. He has many literary awards. Died in Barcelona. Victor Jara, 1932-1973, political singer. He is considered one of the most important representatives of the Nueva Canción, New Song, movement and the revolutionary artist movement throughout South America. He supported Salvador Allende and was tortured to death during the military coup. Pablo Neruda, 1904-1973, world-famous poet, writer and 1971 Nobel laureate. He published many social and political poems and served as the French embassy during the Salvador Allende period. He died of cancer shortly after the military coup. Tom Araya, B. 1961, has been a vocalist and bassist since 1981, when the world-famous thrash metal band Slayer was founded. Gabriela Mistral, 1889-1957, poet and 1945 Nobel laureate for literature. After her lover Romilio Urita committed suicide, she covered the themes of love, death and hope in her poems.
He later worked for Chile in the diplomatic field. Music groups such as Inti Ilimani, Quilapayan, Ilapu made the Nueva Canción Chilena, Chilean New Song, Movement World Famous. These groups have been abroad as refugees for years due to the military coup. Violeta Parra (1917–1967) is the founder of the Nueva Canción Chilena movement. The singer grew up in poverty and composed his own folk music at a very early age, collecting and compiling traditional songs in the 1950s. His works have a strong political character. Besides music, he wrote poems, painted and sculpted. Many Chilean and international artists have performed their songs. His most familiar song is Gracias a la Vida. Antonio Scarmita, 1940, writer and supporter of Salvador Allende. He left the country after the 1973 coup. He has written many novels and stories about the dictator. Between 2000 and 2003, he served as a consul in Berlin, where he was in exile. Roberto Mata, 1911-2002, the great surrealist painter of the 20th century. He is also the friend of Salvador Dali and Federico Garcia Lorca. Some important cities main article, list of cities in Chile. Atacama Mapa Administrativo de Chile.png Santiago Capital Valparaiso Puerto Monta Cuicua Valdivia Punta Arenas Puerto Williams Antofagasta Arica Concepcion Calama. Chilean Biosphere Protected Areas UNESCO has declared eight regions in the country as natural biosphere reserves. These. Bosque Frey Jorge, National Park, 1977, Juan Fernandez Islands, 1977, Torres del Paine, 1978, Laguna San Rafael, National Park, 1979, Lauca, National Park, 1981, Araucarias, 1984, La Campana, National Park, and Lago Peñuelas, National Reserve, 1984, Cabo de Hornos, National Park, 2005.